Okay, here we are again with another anime reaction, and this time with episode 2 of Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World. And yeah, episode 1 was interesting. We got a rough basis on how the stuff with the contract workers works. Basically, if you steal, you can become one, or if you run away from your employer as a contract worker, you, you become a bandit. And we also saw like difference in prices from like 30,000 to 600,000. And then at the end of the episode, we got like an offer for the 600,000 top tier uh, contract worker, which we got a discount to 466,000 um, and got like five days to get the money because we don't have the money right now. So we will see how that works out. But yeah, if you like what you see or if you want to support me leave a like, subscribe or a comment, I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get started with the episode. This is something that will happen in the future. Okay. Ten years. And here's all the waifus. This is where it began. It started when I came here. I mean, after 10 years, yep, you forget some things. It is the same horse, apparently. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, boy. Who looks like him? Like dark hair, blue eyes. Is this his... Oh! Oh, it's his son. Wow. I'm your father. No. A dagger? Skimitar. Oh? I wonder, there must be more to it, right? So, I would like to get a flashback what this is all about. I mean, we know what it's about, like, it's his son. Yep. It's not you, it's the weapon. I'm a goddamn daddy, dude. What's her sword? Oh, that's her, his mother. I might know him. Oh boy. I would like to know how that happened. <laughs> because it definitely didn't happen at the beginning of the anime, so... How did it happen? Because he has all the, those waifus around him, right? So why did he choose someone else? 33 gold. Silver. 70,000 now. He needs 70,000 more? And those ways are Labyrinth, okay, yeah, makes sense, and No, I have no idea about this world, dude. <laughs> what is the other way? The best way if you're confident in your skills. Still difficult. Mm -hmm. So, you, get, you either go into the Labyrinth or you kill, go for bounties. It's also more dangerous. Okay, so it's you have to find someone that is worth a lot and that can be rare. Off we go, let's go. What? Oh, is it an OP weapon? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> 63 bonus points? Character reset? Weapon cancel? Oh, he can just put it away. So he has an invisible inventory, I guess? A weaker weapon? A cheap weapon? That his good weapon is safe? That makes sense, that's smart. Armor, let's go, what do we get? Full plate armor. <laughs> no, of course not. Imagine. And that's the entry? Into a big tree? Being in a forest and having their like a labyrinth 
in the middle of nowhere basically reminds me of black clover <laughs> the first like ruin or labyrinth where we went in seems kind of similar but oh it's a portal oh interesting so just random portals appear and you go through those and those are the labyrinth Reminds me really of an MMO when you go, like Ragnarok Online, when you go into a cave, you go into like a teleport, like a warp at the edge of the map and just go into the next map. <laughs> Upsetting. Explorer? Stamina increase. Okay. Oh. Hero, yeah. What is Hero about? HP and MP. Oh, he has multiple drops and he can choose two or so that he can have equipped. He has an invisible inventory. <laughs> Indeed convenient. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> he can make portals? That's some interesting stuff. Like, very MMO-like. Do, do you learn? <laughs> you can't go through it. One use only. And you wasted it. <laughs> That's what happens if you get a new skill and you just try it out, don't know what it does. First monster, let's go. God damn! One chop and down. Oh, a skill? What is it? Overwhelming. He can freeze enemies or slow down time? Oh, oh! OP! Yeah, it can be so many things. It can be a slowdown, it, it can be a speed up. What's happening? <laughs> What the hell? Does it make him depressive? I wonder if that was a skill or something else. Oh, his MP. Ah. I mean, it makes sense, right? MP, mind points. So if you use MP and you have no MP, you have like no mind points left. So your mind is like very drowsy, I guess. This reminds me of Danmachi when you go into the Adventurer Guild and you just give your crystals. And they give you money for it. <laughs> 273 NAR when he needs 70,000. Indeed. He needs to find a better way. Bonus chance. What? He can just teleport into the dungeon again? Very handy. And he's down again. Use all his MP. That would be so weird if you use MP in a game and suddenly your character becomes like very like stats down or something and becomes bad and the stamina stamina limit 700 hours yeah he can't make that in a few days oh a hidden room sneaky sneaky is this a Dagger or what is it? A broken sword. Of course it's a trap. And a needlewood. It's a trap. Oh my god, this reminds me of SAO. When they went into, into the secret room and suddenly it closed and everyone died except Kirito. <laughs> yep, exactly. Okay, so far this anime reminds me of parts SAO, Black Clover and Danmachi. <laughs> Oh, he gets beaten? Okay. He's not completely op op I guess. I mean, he has his drawbacks with his MP and stamina, I guess. Can he use it? He used it already. Oh, during enemy encounters. Oh. Can absorb HP too? How broken? It can absorb MP and HP. Didn't it absorb MP? Shouldn't he get MP back? Or maybe he only gets a little bit back. 
Ah, take the lot, okay. So what are we doing now? Okay, he uses more MP. So what are we doing now? We are literally with the back to the wall. And he did it. That's a lot of branches, that's a lot of money. But probably still not enough. <laughs> OP weapon saves the day. The bandit's body. Oh, he dead. But he's not from the group we encountered, right? Is he? Okay. Might be, maybe. We don't know for sure. Oh, interesting. I need some bounties. Exactly. Might as well go for the bandits. Ooh. Hello. The danger is worth it. Exactly. We need the gains. Let's go. Hunting some bandits for the big gains. And that's episode 2. Okay, that was episode 2 of Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World. And yeah, this episode a bit slower. Not that much going on. Basically just that we have to get the money somehow. And there are only two ways. Either you go into the labyrinth, which we found out now is slow process because you don't get much money from the enemies and it takes a long time to get those materials and encounter those enemies from what it sounds like like 10 per hour um, unless you uncover uh, uncover one of those secret rooms which are dangerous um, and the only other way is basically to make a lot of money is getting after going after bandits and getting bounties right but yeah you have to find pretty much big bounties so dangerous bandits or whatever and that's a risky way of doing it and also could be a slow way if you don't find someone that has like a big bounty and that's basically the episode we, we saw a few of his stats and uh, his skills and there are some interesting drawbacks like when you use your mana then suddenly you become like depressed <laughs> pretty much which makes sense because mp is pretty much like mind points so when you use your MP, it basically affects your mind, you could say. So I guess it makes sense. It's definitely interesting, but man, that's <laughs> such a dumb mechanic. And yeah, also from from what he said, also stamina. He has to look out for his stamina because otherwise he's also exhausted. So very re realistic, which I think we didn't really saw in any other anime that is like an MMORPG. It's just like, yeah, sure, at, at some point the characters get exhausted or have like no MP and then they, they can't use any magic or whatever. But it never really had like mechanics like MP down, equal, you get like depressed because it affects your mind or you have like stamina problems really. Um, so that's some nice little touches, but I guess it won't be too, um, too impactful. It's just like some small information drops here and there. And yeah that's basically episode two now our main character wants to go after bandits to make some big money to get roxanne and i mean sure why not i would go after bandits too if it means i can get roxanne <laughs> it's definitely worth it like he said if you already risk your life then go after the bandits and make the big money but yeah that's episode two thanks for watching i really appreciate it if you like what you saw leave a follow subscribe or comment. I would really, really appreciate it and it would help me. So yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.